Wait, you want to throw a Halloween party at my dorm? Why would you want to throw a Halloween party at my dorm? Because one, it's huge. Two, it would be fun as long as none of us break the rules, of course. And three, it's already kind of spooky. Just perfect for Halloween. Shut up, Riddle. No one really cares about the rules except for you. And we all just wanted to throw a party to get closer to listener. That's the only thing we can agree on. Why, you little shit- Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. No fighting, at least till one of us is chosen by the listener. Back off, Azul. He is right, you know. We only have till midnight. Tomorrow is November 1st, which means if the listener doesn't choose one of us, or all of us, the chance to woo them is gone, especially since it is quite romantic to be near the one you desire on holidays. He does make a point. I like where you're going with that, Vil. This is chaos itself. <sighs> Don't you think so, Malleus? Indeed. Hmm. A good way to start is decorating the whole dorm. Second, please invite me this time. Third, make sweets and food for everyone. And last but not least, make or get our costumes set up. Uh, oh, we should probably start soon then. Like, now? Oh my, I can already feel the stress happening. <laughs> okay, I will work on the invitations. You all do something useful. Well, well okay then, let's start setting things up. Oh, hey Prefect. What am I doing? Oh, I'm just setting up some cute and spooky decor that would totally look good on magic cam but besides that these two brainless idiots were supposed to be helping me but they kept getting in my way so i made them sit out hey i'm not that idiotic and neither is deuce yeah wait i have more brain cells than him hey don't listen to him Boys, you both are giving my poor brain a headache with your bickering. <sighs> Anyways, what did you need, Prefect? You wanted to know where Trey is because you were supposed to give him more eggs because they ran out from baking all the sweets for the party. Oh dear, you could have just said so. He's in the kitchen with Silver and Jamil cooking dinner for the party instead of sweets. As you know, they finished early. Yeah. Okay. Be safe. Bye. Oh hey, welcome. And thanks again for getting us more eggs. I will be coming in and out of here, giving the sweets to the others to set up for tonight. Be right back. Silver should be cooking back there to the left, and Jamil should be to the right wing of the kitchen, also coming in and out. <laughs> Stay safe! Oh, hello there, Prefect. You came just in time. I actually needed two eggs for this dish that I have to do. Here. Would you like to help me? You would? All right. Step in front of me. I will still be behind you, and I will guide you through cracking eggs and making the batter, essentially. Sorry, is this too close? No? Okay, um... First, grab that egg. Yeah, mm-hmm. Just like that. And here, let me put my hands above yours. N okay, now just tap it kind of hard on the bowl. Yeah. Just like that. 
and open it a little bit with your thumbs. Almost ripping them gently apart. Barely any pressure. Yes. I, I know inside is kind of cold, okay? <laughs> now do the other egg and mix the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. I will be making the sauce that goes on top of the dish while it's cooking. How do I know how to cook? Well, even though my father is horrible at it, well, it's kind of silly. I used to take cooking classes for middle school and high school, kind of if you're that my cooking would end up like my father's. <laughs> yeah, it is quite funny to think to think about a training night for the prince would take mostly martial arts classes or sporty, but no, trust me, I can still fight well. I was trained by my father and other teachers, but I still like to cook, so I'm not as bad as Lilia. Sorry, did I come in at the wrong time? But I just need to ask if the dish was at least halfway ready for me to actually cook and not mix. Oh, of, of course, just got done making the batter and sauce. Here you go. All that's left to do is put the dish and the meat into the oven and then send it on its way to the room with all the other finished dishes. Thank you. Also, hello beautiful prefect. Haven't seen you around all day, but I hope and I look forward to seeing you tonight. <laughs> See you then. I think you might want to check on my father and Malleus. They have been dying to see you, and they have some decor ready for you to take to Rook, Leona, and Appel. Okay. Have fun. Thanks for helping. I don't know what I would do have done without you. Ah, uh, child of man. It's good to see you. Happy Halloween. Hi, sweetie. Happy Halloween. Here are the streamers and some outside lights for the patio behind the sliding glass doors outside the main room in which we are having the party. And... Oh, and by the way, thanks for the help, sweetie. Rook, Leona, and Appel are outside. Well, until then, see you tonight. Oh, it's so not a pleasant surprise. Come to visit us, I hope. We will. Everything else needs us to make this the perfect night and on spy and we'll see. Oh, how it makes my heart flutter. Shut up, weirdo who likes beauty and is obsessed with almost everyone and is a stalker. I mean, he does have a point. So please stop and relax, Rook. No more crazy stalker weirdo talk. Um, j just relax. You you ramble a lot about beauty. So yeah, r relax. You should probably run before Rook starts talking again. Go 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 go. No running in the dorms. Up. Oh, it's just you, Prefect. <sighs> ah, sweet potato. Why were you running? Was it because of Rook? <sighs> I knew it. I will deal with him later. But right now, me and Riddle are making costumes for everyone. It is a lot of work, but we almost done too. Time flies when you're so engrossed in your work and 
when amazing things come to life. But I must go check on my brainless idiots. <sighs> well, now it is just you and me sweeping to you. Not necessarily, dearest Angelfish and Vil. Right, I should have known better than to think for one moment me and Sweet Potato would be left alone here. <sighs> well then, Angelfish, you should get in your costume and get ready for tonight. Look at you, all nice and pretty. Everyone will be all over you. By the way, two people outside are waiting for you, ready to take you to the party. Good luck! Listener. Hello, listener. Would you allow me and my brother to escort you to the party? Y you would? Okay. Please, take my arm. I like your costume, Prefect. It brings out your eyes. I like your costume as well. It makes you look even prettier if possible. Oh, look at that. We're here. Go on inside. We'll be in shortly. Aw, you look so cute, little shrimpy. Indeed, you look stunning, my dear. See, See you around, around darling. darling. Ah, cutie, you look so adorable. <laughs> Can't wait to see who you choose. Sunshine, so good to see you again. Please, enjoy the party, but don't forget to choose me, okay? Oi, human, I love you very much, so choose me and we can serve the young master together. Can people stop bombarding you with having to choose them? At this point, might as well choose all of us. I think it's time for you to choose, child man. Which one of us to love? Or all of us, sweet potato. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on.